I honestly can't believe what just happened. I recorded in the entire unboxing video using the DJI Osmo app and I have no audio. I have zero audio and I guess this is the reason why people enjoy using the Filmic Pro because it actually has audio levels. It must have been the DJI mic. I didn't plug it into the, to the lightning port properly or something. It didn't capture any audio at all. Pretty upset, so there will be um, certain parts in the video that uh, I would have to do an overlay. I have no choice, but uh, I'm not about to repeat the entire process all over again. All right, guys, this is the unboxing of the Brompton T line, and this is your regular Brompton box that it comes in. Okay, let me just drag this box all the way to the front of the car so I can get a better angle. Yep, no background sound at all. <laughs> okay, now that we have a good angle of the uh, unboxing, or rather uh, a good angle of me doing the unboxing, uh, I'm just gonna just uh, remove it from the box and that's the additional package that comes together with the box the pedal is actually inside and i'm not sure at what point do i remove the pedal but yes i actually did not take the pedal out as yet that's the receipt and now I'm, i am about to remove the brompton from the box uh, yeah struggling a little bit but yes i was actually exclaiming to myself how light it feels and it's also at this point in time where i realized myself that hey you know the advertised weight is actually 7.95 kilograms so i'm actually going to pull out a weighing machine and see if uh, the weight is the advertised 7.95 uh, kilograms all right, pulled out the uh, weighing machine and realized that it is out of battery. So I'm just gonna quickly run in and get a power bank to power this uh, weighing skill up. And these are times when I actually appreciate uh, some of the power banks I have lying around. Like the one that you see here is the Ultimate Omni Charge Ultimate. It basically powers a lot of stuff. Uh, laptops um, and you can with like just a click of a button you know it turns into an AC supply and with just a random adapter I actually managed to uh, power on the uh, weighing machine so now that I've got the weighing machine set up I'm gonna just uh, put the bike on as you can see it's actually 8080 so that's actually 8.08 kilograms not quite exactly the advertised 7.95 kilograms so i'm now about to remove the pedal and this is actually quite interesting the pedals actually remind me of the mks pedals that i have installed on my royal blue brompton but the good thing is uh it's actually branded brompton so that's um quite a nice uh addition to uh to this uh brompton and not just that these pedals are actually made in Taiwan. So for all the Brompton fanboys, not everything is made in England. You know, I guess the the unique part about a Brompton is the uh, the fold, as well as the handmade uh, frame. So I just uh, mounted the pedal on and now uh, let's see uh, what the weight is and now with the pedal mounted on drum roll we come in at the grand total of 8210 so that's actually 200 grams per pedal 
And again, it's about 200 over grams away from the advertised uh, weight of the tea line. And inside the packet that came with the pedal are some deflectors and accessories and like instruction manual. Um, I'm not going to put the, the, the front deflectors on. So I think with the front deflectors on, that's going to add another like what, five to 10 grams. And let's see what else. Of course, how can we forget the fold, the signature fold of the Brompton. And this is where the Brompton shines, you know, straight out the box, the fold, it's extremely, extremely awesome. So I just fold out the stem and now I'm going to do the, uh, okay, right. I'm actually trying to exclaim to everyone how light it is. Okay. I'm just going to, okay, there we go. That is the full and that's how easy it is. And bearing in mind, I just removed it from the box. I have not done anything. And um, I'm actually just uh, doing the unfold for the first time out of the box. And you see how buttery smooth everything is. It's uh, really quite satisfying. If you have never unfolded a Brompton before, you should really try it. It's uh, very satisfying. Yep. And let's go for a uh, test ride. Honestly, it's been such a long time since I've ridden a stock Brompton, but this one feels extremely crisp out of the box. As always, good pedal feel. Um, the titanium frame uh, is actually quite... I think people who are fascinated with a titanium frame is because of how well it, ex it actually absorbs uh, the shocks and vibrations. This thing writes very, very nice. And the gear shifting is also very smooth. It's a um, single gear change all done on the left-hand side. And what's really cool about this bike is the extreme lightness of it. Check it out, you know. Uh, it's uh, really, really light. <laughs> and as you can tell, uh, if I can get this closer to 7 kilograms, it will be even better. And I'm just thinking about how much it's going to cost trying to bring down the weight even more. Uh, will it be worth the money? I'm not quite sure, but trust me, I will definitely be trying to bring down the weight of this Brompton T-Line because firstly, I'm actually quite unhappy that it's above 7.95 and it's not the advertised weight. This is quite annoying. And there is also one other aesthetic that I left out and that's the orange Presta valve that comes with the uh, Brompton uh, T-Line. It's actually made of like plastic or at least on the outside, but pretty sure uh, on the inside is actually metal and it's just uh, encased in some uh, orange plastic material so that, you know, people can actually recognize from a distance that it's a Brompton T-Line. And uh, this is uh, a close-up of the rear arm. And the nice thing about the weld is that every single frame is unique. That's the beauty of it. Oh, there is another detail that I overlook. You see this thing here? Yep, that's how the front folds in to this catch that's on the seat, uh, that's on the stem. It's a very satisfying click. It's no more that catch on the side. All right, this is something new. Okay, and moving on to the handlebar, the M carbon handlebar. These are the shifters, the regular Brompton shifters. And surprisingly, these are the foam grips uh, that comes with the Brompton T-Line. I'm actually quite shocked that they provided these not so premium feel grips. <laughs> 
but otherwise still pretty comfortable. And uh, this is the front stem. And this is the uh, laser etched uh, Brompton logo. And towards the front of the tube, you've got your laser etched uh, T representing the T line. And this is a close up view of the welding for the front. Uh, there were some comments uh, on the internet saying that, you know, the 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 welding isn't very well done but i think uh we forget that all these frames are all handmade and these uh this is like a handmade weld right so i guess it's uh, supposed to look that way um the fold is the most important thing on the brompton uh overall it sucks that this video doesn't have any audio and uh I'm doing my best to do the uh, voice overlay. Uh, this is a rear shot. And on to the uh, left of the bicycle, that's your carbon crank. And I think I'm just going to conclude very, very soon. Sorry again. No audio. I think I'm going to double check the next time. This is the Schwabi 1 tires that comes with the T-Line. I like how they feel, especially how they ride. And as always, if you guys like this video, remember to subscribe. And hopefully in the next one, I will bring you a lighter Brompton T-Line. Until then, you guys take care and ride safe.